You're a pig. Yeah, lost. I ain't touching that. It's filthy cheese. Filthy cheese? We do call it some crap. What do you think it is? A fruit medley. What is our machine? <laughs> you freak. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to a new vlog. The place is looking very tidy this morning after our dinner party last night. Nick has been up um, tidying while I've been editing the vlog. Now it is almost 10 a.m. and Nick is still in bed. No, I'm not. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. <laughs> it's a good job you didn't flash some. I'm not going to flash parts. you anything. So it's almost 10 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Ugh. It's so far been a beautiful, beautiful morning. Beautiful. The sun is out, um, so coffee, yes, please coffee. Yes, we may go for a nice long walk today. I think just to burn off all that cheese that Nick bought last night. A lot of cheese left. Yeah, we've frozen it. We haven't yet. You know what I said last night? You can go back to last night's um, vlog and watch it. Actually, when I said, please get healthy app options. What did I say? What did you have to get? Well, there's more things healthy than just carrot batons. The, what, what do you want to get? You could do like a, a nice. Fruit medley. What do you think it is? A fruit medley. You could do a vegetable medley. We've got two kilos of cheese. To I eat. thought you'd frozen it. No, I'm going to chuck that brie away because brie never seems to wasteful. Um, Look at all that cheese. All you had to do was buy two blocks. Why did you buy six? Why people to have choice. Mm, well, they didn't choose it, did they? You're a pig. Yeah, lost. I ain't touching that filthy cheese. Filthy cheese. We do call it some crap. Filthy cheese. I meant stinky actually. It's not stinky actually, it's brief. You want I didn't get any stinky It'll cheese. Stink. You stink. Get me breath med. What's crack then? What's crack today? I'm just talking about teletext. We're just talking about teletext, look at that. So I'm gonna find a teletext simulator. Oh, I can't get it to focus. There we go. We're just talking on Discord with our patrons about teletext. Who remembers teletext guys? Let us know in the in the comments below. But your dad still uses it. Teletext is still a thing apparently. It's not called teletext though. What's it called? It's like the red button, the red now, button now. And you still get, it's kind of the same thing. I used to love teletext when I was younger. But um, there we go. I'm so, trying to find a, a, um, a teletext simulator. simulator. Yeah, but I, this, this website won't run it because I've got a vulnerable version of Flash. Mm. So, it's nice outside now. It's been raining and windy all night, so I imagine it's a bit slushy out there. Are we going to go for a walk? I think we best do. Well, after all that cheese we had last night. Two kilos of cheese each. Yeah. Can we just explain why you've thrown a whole block of cheese I away? I haven't thrown a whole block of cheese away. It's brie. I've, I've, I've basically bought about six blocks. Most of them are in the fridge. They're going to be, well, now they're in the freezer. The brie, you've got to be careful with soft brie because we once got norovirus from some gone off We think soft it was cheese. gone off soft cheese, yes. And ooh, that one nice, although I lost five pounds. It was brilliant for weight loss. <laughs> Um, so tonight we are going to have a nice stir fry. Once we've been to the pub. I'm gonna, when we come back, we're gonna yeah. meet some friends at the pub tonight. Um, I'm well on the way to um, sorting out New York. I've got a list of everything that I wanna do. So then I need to put some prices inside of it and then decide whether one of these New York passes is, is good or not, because they're really cheap at Costco at the moment. Apparently somebody messaged this morning and said, check the small print because it only allows you access to three. Oh, three. No, on certain ones, yeah, yeah. definitely. There's, there's a lot of different ones. It's quite confusing if you've ever been to New York. There's different passes. Um, the New York City Pass, the New York Pass, blah, 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 blah. So there's different ones. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. That's all I got. So, we're going to go to a beach for a walk. That'd be nice, wouldn't oh, it? No, it's what? windy. Eh? It's windy, but we're to a bloody beach. No. Those trees aren't moving a micron. Well, we're in wrong position. We might go for a beach. We might go for a walk. On the beach. On the beach. Maybe. That'd be nice, that. Come on, then. Right, we've made our way to Morrison's. What's just for a couple of big bits and bats. Baby, so we can't dip in the hummus that we've got left. Right, okay. And we need some um, carrot batons as well for it. Where's the carrot? Um, have you got me a pineapple? No. Pineapple! Carrot batons. Carrot batons. Carrot batons. Where, where, where? Oh, yeah. It's just started raining, so that's put the beach has been abandoned. The kibosh on our beach. Well, we're going to go to a beach and have a little walk. Um, so we think we might just go back, have a cup of tea, um, and then I need to start listing things. How much it's going to cost in Florida? New York. Uh, yeah, sorry, New York, um, and to see if we are going to get one of those New York passes or not. Um, so we shall see. Let's get back to the lodge.
Right, we're back at the lodge. And Nick is going to empty this bag. Is it, are we doing a shopping haul? No, 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 no. Um, one pound emergency poop Mori Bob poop paper. Actually, you can buy that. Poop paper. Right. It's not fluffy like some stuff. Um, stick them in there. Oh, might have a cracker. Um, what? What were you saying about that toilet paper? More of those nasty beans. Delicious. Hmm. Healthy, more... nutritious baked beans. They're really nice. They're right stodgy. There's hardly any mm -hmm. bean juice. My favourite. And also, only forty pence per tin. So it's quite economical. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do this afternoon. I've got a, a mission to sort this bedroom out. Which involves ironing all that lot from um, Don't get me involved in that. holiday. Don't get me involved in that. Oh god, look at that. What Chris and Jen sent. Wine oh. gravy. What could we put that on? You have to make some biscuits. You could always get some cheese scones. And put them on. And put them on it. Heat it up. Maybe. I'm just looking for a shepherd's pie mix because later on in the week... Might make a shepherd's pie. We're going to make a shepherd's pie. So what I'm going to do is have a few carrot batons for my lunch. Oh, we've also got these vegetables to bulk up the stir fry later tonight. I'm going to have some of these carrot batons with a little bit of hummus. Oh, chili con carne. I've just sort of chili con carne. Um, I'll allow you to go and rest or whatever you want to do. I'll allow you some time on your own. Uh, well, oh, thank you. Very generous. If you put me ironing board up. I'm going to have a, um, a bell pepper with feta. Mm. And Very nice. We've got quite a healthy fridge at the moment, haven't we? Fruits. Mm. And like fresh chicken and vegetables and Ooh, um, stuffed olives. Garlic stuffed. Oh. Mm. Mm. Right. Put me as I hadn't finished speaking. If you can put me the um, um, put that pate back in. I like pate. If you can put me the um, ironing board up, I'll do some of your ironing. <laughs> You'll do it anyway because I've washed it. Oh, and that's the hard part. And it's sticking in washer. Oh, what you've been doing? Vlogging. Mm. Thumbnails. Mm. You must be knackered. Mm. There you go. Crack on. Right, it's time to test this thing. I forgot what it's called. Three ninety nine from a garden centre. A lint course. remover. A uh, reusable lint remover. Because this. Right, right wait a Where's all the bits? Wait till it, click, wait till it focuses. Bits, bits. I don't really it. see any. But well, well, go on and try it. You can't. Well, you can see it with the naked eye though, can't the you? The vlog can't. <gasps> Woo! Well, what am I looking at? What's happening? Oh, gone. Stop being, uh, stop being stupid for the sake All right, of it. When you see it on the vlog, you'll be like, "What the hell?" Let's have a look gone. at the roller. Well, yeah, I suppose that's. We're not getting sponsored by this company, and they didn't send us it. Before. No, it's one of those one of those I've seen on TV things that we saw in a garden centre. And you never. What the, the problem is one of those proper lint rollers, but have paper on. They only just like one swipe, one swipe, and then they they become less sticky. Well. This is one of those things that is quite cheap and I'll use forever, as long as it lasts. Does it make? Does it mean that you'll do our ironing more? Well... Right, anyway, we are going to go through some of the questions which you guys have asked us. We did a few in yesterday's vlog and we're going to do a few more in this vlog. So I'll be back. Instagram. I'll be back in a second when I've got them prepared. Right, so the first one is, if you could meet anyone in history, alive or not, who would it be? And that's from David Horn. Hi David, David's one of our patrons. Um... Um... Anybody? Well, I don't know. Probably Princess Diana because she did a lot of good work. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to think about that. Right. One. Next question. I'll come back to that one. I can't. Francis, foodie nuggets. Francis Queen. Uh, what park? What uh, favorite ride in each park? Ooh. Um, Epcot has got to be soaring. Animal Kingdom has got to be Flight of Passage. For me. Uh, Hollywood Studios has got to be mm. Tower of Terror. Yeah, but closely followed by probably Rise of Resistance. A Magic Kingdom. Um, it's, Space Mountain? It's a small... No. I want to get in. Uh, probably No, Seven yeah. Dwarfs Mine Train. Mm, yeah, Seven Dwarfs. I like that as well. Um, right, Hannah Rickett says, What did you both want to be uh, when you were younger? I had absolutely <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I know the answer to this one. I always wanted to be a lab technician. Because when I was a kid, I always had a chemistry set and I always used to like fire. <laughs> like setting things on fire. I wasn't, I, wasn't bored, I wasn't interested in all like the chemical formulas. I only wanted things that, that blow up. Yes, let's just explain. You actually did that in a controlled environment in your science class. You didn't actually go set things on fire. No, I did it in the cellar. In fact, I can actually remember. 
I set a pair of underpants on fire in my bedroom on a piece of Formica board and the smoke was coming down the staircase and my dad ran upstairs and asked what the hell are we doing and I was sat there in a gas mask. Please don't try that at home. Yeah, don't try that at home. Um, I, I was one of those people and kids and still to this day who I never knew what I wanted to do. I always wanted to own my own business. Um, but, uh, you know. Just a minute, I'm just going to swap arms because I'm bored. Um, I always knew I wanted to be on business. I never knew what it wanted to be. So, and now you work for me. No. Yeah. <coughs> I'm joking. So I did fulfill that dream of owning my own business. Um, but I was never one of those people that were like, I want to be a doctor or I want to be this or that. Right, next question. Road tripping or Disney holiday? Um, Road tripping for me. Um, yeah. It's all right, but it's, it's not. Both, really. It's not, yeah. It's perfect to, to have both in one holiday. That I fence mean, post up your backside, since you're on that fence, must be killing you. No. Well, if I only have to choose one, it depends Well, it on is a choice. <laughs> depends where the... <coughs> <coughs> um, it depends. Where, on what? If the, where the road trip is, do we be in America? Road tripping or Disney holiday? Pick one. Get off the fence. Road tripping. Because right, there we go. Because it would be interesting. There you go. Uh, how did you meet Nikki and Charlotte? We met them through YouTube. Yep. They were Charlotte was watching our videos when we were on our bath road trip, and she had a friend that worked for the spa, and she messages and said, "Go on, mention my name, and you can go in." So we did, and then we kind of met Charlotte and met her at the Manchester meet. And Nikki, I remember we met Nikki our first time in bath again. No, it wasn't. We met Nikki on YouTube for the first time on a live chat and oh, he yeah. was in there and we started the camera too early and we were like, oh shit, did we swear? <laughs> or did we say anything we shouldn't have done? And he was like, no, you were fine. So we kind of got talking to Nikki from there, didn't we? You've got a big hole in your, in your butt on my ass. Uh, I know. And then we met them both for, in, for the first time in bath. Met him in bath, met him in, met Charlotte in Manchester. And then, um, that's where it went. Um, what made you fall in love with Florida? Oh God. Who's these people, you need to say who they're from. Gym lists. And the last one was Linny B 71 um, Well, we've always loved Florida. We went for the first time in 2000, the millennium year, uh, with my family. And we did it all wrong back then though. Yeah, but we've we found it ever since then really. Yeah, but we found our feet in yeah. March. When we discovered that we were better off going around just us two on our own, we, we became the adult Disney, Disney, adult Disney, adult Disney trip. That was adult Disney I mean. trip. Yeah. Even though we've been many times adult here, we've always just done the go to a park at nine a.m. and leave at nine p.m. Nine p.m. and yeah. I'd be knackered and never want to go to that park ever again. Yeah, and that's what we did. That's always always done Florida until we went, and it obviously helped that we got the annual the pass. Annual pass helped, yeah. Definitely. Is Nikki and Charlotte a couple? That's from Adam J McNeil. No, no. they're not. They're just friends. Very good friends. One more. And then One more. I'm, I'm gonna watch the next episode of. What's Michael watching? Treadstone. I'm no idea. Favourite place you've visited? And that's from Chloe, Melissa, I can't read the rest of the name. I'll go on first on this one. Mm. I, I watched a film years ago called Starman with Karen Allen and Jeff Bridges and they went to a meteor crater. And when we did our road trip to the USA about 10 years ago, before we had the business, I found this meteor crater and we drove four hours from the Grand Canyon, or five hours from the Grand Canyon to look at it. When we got there, Lee wasn't interested. He sat in Subway. He had his sandwich in Subway, and I was stood there looking at this one mile hole in the ground, and he was stuffing in a sub. That's one of those old stories that Nicole It's a good knows. one, though. Right, go on. Um, What's your favourite place? There's been so many, really. It's Just hard. name one. Italy, maybe. Italy. I love Italy. I don't know which part. <laughs> oh, Bath. I love Bath. Get off that fence. <laughs> you must have splinters up your jacksie. See, we've been to so many nice places. I can't Just pick one. I love Paris as well. Right, so if you have to pick a place, what, what memory comes to your mind right now? Well, Florida, of course. Well, there you go. So his favourite place is Florida. <laughs> right, you finish that ironing, I'm going to have a nana nap, and I'm going to take some of those carrot buttons with Ooh, me. I'm not taking any of that. Well, I'll take a little dish. Put them in a little dish, yes. Right, so and we'll I'm be back. watch the next episode of Headstone. Right, we'll be back shortly. I've done it for today. I've done it for today. I've done all the shorts. All the shorts that we're not going to need to wear until summer. Well, you're not taking them to um, Florida then in May. Good point. Nice rooster, eh? Is it? Because I'm in a nap. Right. I wish I'd have had time to have a nap. Well, you're resting now watching this. So I'm watching Ooh, this. Who's that? Brian J. Smith. Ooh. <laughs> Shaving his hair in Treadstone. 
Right, well I'm off to basically do some more mouse proofing outside to prevent them from coming under the lodge. Well, you best make sure that it uh, only takes you half an hour, because in half an hour we're walking across to a pub. I'm aware. Which might take an hour or so, because we're, we're going to be fit and healthy today while the sun's out. We're going to have... Um... Yeah, I'm not saying that one, we're going to walk back. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so, come on, and then you've got to put all your, um, your jeans away, your shorts away. Right then. Well? This bloody stuff's crap. Can't even get it out. I'm squeezing it like mad and know what's happening. Well, have you, have you snipped the end? I I've snipped the end. It's always coming out, it's just coming out like... When you, bird shit. When you've got to do this all the way around? Just some gaps, he said. The uh, pest we're, control guy. We've still not had a quote back from that, have we? No. Two weeks ago. Rubbish they are. Well, if they phone me now, they can piss off. Quite nice out here, actually. Mm. A bit nippy here, with wind. Right then, I'm off back in. I'm off back in. Go on then, when it's nice and warm. Ooh, yay. Come on then. You ready? Stood at the door, wait for you. Snacking me out doing that, see you later. Snacking you out? Snacking me out. Still got rooster. Oh, thank you. Bye. You're not going to go freshen yourself up? Freshen myself up? What do you think? What's some pen fresh or something? We're going to pub. I've only got spiky eggs I've been laying to get to bed, Ed. <laughs> Not a meal, it's not a meal for two, you know. I'm oh, excited. speaking of which, we're doing a stir fry when we get back with lots of vegetables. And which, is it chicken or beef tonight? Uh, we're not having beef, we've got two lots of chicken. Chili willy, we'll take that to bins when we go. Chili willy and Argentinian... We'll have chili willy. Somewhere. We'll have a, a, a sweet one tonight. Sweet chili willy? Chili willy. You just sound so wrong. <gasps> it's a little chilly. Chili willy. My hands are a little chilly. Wish I had some gloves on. Well, we're having chili willy for tea. Yeah, we just, we just established that in the last scene. Yeah, I know, but not for us. What are you having to drink at the pub? I'm having alcohol-free beer. Bavaria. Bavaria, yeah. I think I'm just going to have a lime and soda. Hydrate myself. That just tastes like licorice, and my god, it makes you fart as well. Bavaria. Oh, god, don't get any then. Well, I need to have some. I need to have non-alcohol after last night's alcohol. Just get a lime and soda, because you need to hydrate as well. Hydration is very important, Rogers. Hydrate on Bavaria. No, but I don't fancy it. Wind. The after effects. Oh, well. Right, we've been to the pub, we're walking back. It's freezing cold. We're walking through the woods, apart from the car and through the hedges. We're walking through the woods. We just heard a sound which sounded like a bat or a bird flying over his heads. So we're gonna have a um, chili willy stir fry. Yeah. Let me just swap my hand because it's covering the shadow on my face. So I'm going to cook tea and then Nick's going to have a game of cod with our patrons. They're all waiting for us. To get on. They'll have to wait because it's like 10 to 7, it's pitch black and I've said I'll be doing it at 7. But it's not, it's going to have to be 8 o'clock. Can't see a thing with his torch in my eyes. It's blinding me as well. Yeah. Oh God, it's like another mile to get back to the lodge, walking through the woods. It's Come on. Nice, nice it's not nice, it's freaking freezing. Right, go back in lodge. Time for some chilli willy. I want some chilli willy. I do like these stir fry kits, 3 for £10 from garden centres. Yeah, they're amazing. Well, the only thing is, yeah. The chicken itself costs more than that. They should have put the chicken in a separate... Not yeah. really, because you're cooking it all together. Well, no, but the chicken... I like my chicken to be done well. What? I like my chicken to be done well. Well, that's why I'm cooking it. So, we're having that. It's chilly witty. Tomorrow is chicken firecracker. With all that veg. And then we're putting some of these baby sweet corn in, which I got. I'm actually going to put some more sauces in there as well, by the way. And half mixed vegetable medley with baby corn. Oh, some baby corn in that one as well. So, we're trying to bulk up on vegetables a little bit, aren't we? To keep yeah. us more full, so we're not snacking later. However, yeah. veg digest very quickly and you'll be, full within, you'll be hungry within an hour. I'm not sure that's right, actually. I we'll think see. that's completely wrong. But we'll see. You know when you have a carvery, and you have loads of veg with the carvery, you're hungry within an hour of having a carvery. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. This is a first, this is a first. Oh, don't say. <laughs> right. Let me just tell you, Lodgers, hand back up to my face, please. When I used to run the business on my own, Nick used to have um, a job about an hour's drive away. Are you looking at my face? About an I'm hour. not looking at your face. I'm uh, looking at these sweet corn on the table and trying about to pick them. an hour's drive away from the house. So I used to get in on time after running our, our own business. Oh, come on. Is there a point here? And for 10 years, I used to cook meals. Can you put that in there then? Shut it's now up, ready. I'm talking. I used to cook all our meals for 10 years. Oh, they're going to take ages. 
hence me saying, put them in. So, Nick likes to make out that I've never done all, or never cooked. Right, Lodgers, let me tell you what oh, Lee's favourite... I'm going to say it. Peas and gravy, because it's... Bullshit, you that. once made a dinner of no. peas with gravy. I came on from work, and I had peas and gravy on a plate for me. Absolutely and I will rubbish. never forget it. Out and out. Lap. Bullshit. And yeah, you did right, it bullshit. because there was nothing else no, in the fridge. So one for one days. day... No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. It was one of those days For one was... day, we had peas and gravy for tea. It's a lie. It's not a lie. It's a lie. Peas and gravy. Yeah, you might have added some pasta with it or something like oh, that. Oh, right, okay. Oh, that makes all the difference. It was still peas and gravy for it tea. It was one of those nights where you were having, like, leftovers from... from oh, the it certainly was. It all together and it certainly was not peas and gravy. But anyway, the point of the thing is... Come here, let me sort this... Go on, because I'm... Look, sorry, no, 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 no. Listen, that's how you're supposed to... Right, can you break up the, uh, the broccoli? Oh, come here, then you do it. Yeah, I thought so. So, for... 10 to 15 years of our relationship, I was the cook in the house. So I'm having some time off now. And you'd have thought, after all that time, I'd have learned to make something more adventurous than Stop beans on being toast. hideously horrible. Hideously horrible? That's right. You. You'll just be lucky that you've actually got somebody that cooks your food rather than open the tin. I'm you off to sit down then. I'll leave you to it if you're doing such a good job. You feel right shaky. You feel right shaky? Yeah. And I've not been drinking for anybody that thinks I've just had a drink oh. in the pub. I have non-alcoholic beer. If you start coughing, you can give me the other room. I'll put a face mask on. It's not that kind of checking. It's like I've done too much too quickly and I've written. Well, it's all right, because you haven't done all today, so you're fine. Mm, you a bitch. <laughs> yeah. I learned from the best. See, Rogers, I have to live with this, and the little cow will edit the bits out that makes him look bad and make me look bad. Let him look good. I'm an angel. Just ask Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Those sweet corn will not be done for a long time. When you like them raw, when they're more fresh from the mortar. I like a nice stir fry where you just add loads of stuff. What, peas and gravy? <laughs> Oh, for God's sake, that's one of those old jokes that's not even true. Not it up. Don't tell lies when you know it is. Whatever. I wish we were vlogging back then because I would have loved to have shown it on the vlog. I came in from an hour's drive from Harrogate to Leeds. I walked in. I'm like, what's the tea? Bye, it let me know when tea's ready. Tea's ready. Let me know when tea's ready. Wait, oops, I've a bit. Get it wiped up then. Get it wiped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's enjoy our tea. Our very healthy stir fry. Vegetable loaden tea. Loaden. We'll be we'll be hungry within an hour. Let's have tea. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> right, Nick's playing COD with some of our patrons. I'm having a night off. <laughs> uh, I'm going to tie this kitchen in a minute. But I'm just going to have a nice little after tea snack. Ah! Well, not... Keep the noise down, please. I'm freaking hell, there's not many of these left. I'm going to have a Kit Kat, which Kelly, Kelly and Adam sent us. Kit Kat from America, or in America, are very different to Kit Kats over here. So, when you open Kit Kats from America, there's no like, there's no, there's no silver foil. They're just all in like one long thing like that. So I'm gonna have one of them. And um, I'm gonna leave Nick to um, continue dying by the sounds of it. No, I'm not dying, I'm, I'm winning. Are you tidying up? I can't be bothered. Do it in the morning while I edit. Okay. So I think we're going to finish the vlog. Have you rinsed this? Yeah. It's worked a treat as well. It's, it's back to sticky again now. The only thing is, after you've done a few, you've got to wash it and then you've got to wait for it to dry. Well, it's rubber, you can probably check it. I was shaking it quite a lot this afternoon. Yeah, but what about that? <laughs> He's so predictable. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, for frig's sake. Yeah, but I've been... I've this thing is predictable. Right, I've had your veg, I've done your theory, I've had your vegetables, I've not stopped eating all night. Thanks for today, guys. I really want a slice of beans on toast with sausage. Uh, no. 
I'm getting a bit sick of beans on toast. No. In fact, I might have a slice of toast, actually. Um, if you want then I will too. <laughs> you didn't get it. Um, thanks for watching today, guys. Let us, yes, please. Let us know in the comments below what you think to Nick's new um, lower thirds. Oh. Wait. Wonder what you're gonna say. Where's bread? <laughs> bottom, bottom drawer. Um, oh, there's a garlic bread in here. No, thank you. So yes, let us know what you think of Nick's new lower thirds. They're a little bit more visual. Uh, I'm off to the bar. I'm going to eat. One slice, two. <laughs> that's cracked. It's better not cracked. I said, if that's cracked, I'll be cracking something else. I'm off. I'm going to eat this, and I'm off to bed to continue uh, chatting on Discord. We're having a really nice chat on Discord with our patrons in our Discord wellness group, and we're all kind of sharing things like, you know, how how basically bonkers we all are, and it's kind of well, I'm struggling to keep up. It's kind of comforting to just have this conversation, just to realise that you know we all pretty much the same. Bodies are machines. <laughs> you freak. <laughs> Bodies are machines, minds are machines, cars are machines, they all need maintenance. That's my take on it. Okay. Right then. We're not right. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell. <laughs> <laughs> Drop us a comment <laughs> below. Drop us a comment below. And we're going to go and eat some um, peanut butter on toast. See you tomorrow for a new vlog, guys. Bye. Bye.